Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Srinivasan, Dotted Developer. We are looking into NFT framework tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to find the count of uh, the count of the rows in the uh, of the particular table. So we have a students table here, and we have four students in the student table. So so usually we use count method. So count method. Uh, to find to find the count of the rows uh, just available in the table actually so so this is a simple query to find the to find the count of the rows in SQL server so whenever I press whenever I execute the query so as you can see we have a uh, we have a result that is number of rows exist in the students table okay so we are going to write the equivalent uh, entity framework statement to get uh, to find the count of the rows from the table sorry count of the rows in the table so yeah as you can see we have a uh, we have a context class here so now we are going to find the count right Uh, let's name it like student count call it my TB context and now students now we have a method called count method so yeah that's it so now whenever we run the project we will see a simple form and we have a button so whenever I hit the button we will be here so that's a that's a concept I'm using since my first video and so if I press F10 to move to the next line so as you can see so we have the same result so we have four students in the student table so this is how you can write a simple entity framework statement to get the count of the rows of table any table and you can also find the count with some filters using where clause like so I just want to I just want to find the uh, find number of uh, rows only if the student name is John okay so that's a condition here so if I put so better we check here before run the project sorry that's it so if i execute so we have a two john here as you can see So we have two Johns here, two John. So that's why you are getting two in the result. So now I hit. So as you can see, now the row count is two. Now we have a two students whose <coughs> name is John. Okay. So this is how you can find the count of the rows in the table and if the table have as no rows so we will get simply we will get zero here it's okay so I hope you enjoyed the video so if you like this video please share subscribe my channel and like this video in the next video I'll come up with a different topic of infinity framework tutorials yeah thank you thank you so much